towards services to the community. And we've got one person here today who got the MBE. But I always joke, there was a friend of ours, David Hislop, who got the OBE. And I said, oh, what a pity, OBE. I said, do you know what hearing people, how they describe it? I said, well, it means, and you don't know the sign for this, I'm sure, <laughs> other <laughs> efforts. <laughs> but I can remember when Alan, who's going to come up and just say a few things, even though he said to me just now, I haven't prepared anything. You don't have to prepare anything. You're, you're like Vince, you're a, a, a legend. He used to be at the City Lit, where I uh, used to work, and uh, he's always been very well organised. Worked in the, the City of London, didn't you? Did you work in the City? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he got the MBE, in fact, for services to, you know, the community, and uh, I'm very pleased because we've set up, and I don't know the sign for this, Deaf Aspirations? Asp aspirations? And Graham, oh, oh, he's got a new sign. In a minute, show us that, that sign. But we've set up, Graham is one of the directors, um, Alan is a director, I am, and Simon's wife at the moment, even though she's so busy, she's uh, Yasmin Floodgate, she's the other director. But Alan is the chair. But I'd like him just to say a few words, because I think this is a very important charitable company because it's looking like last night <coughs> we were in the Henley Business School and they're going to offer an entrepreneurial, I don't know the sign for entrepreneurial, yeah, entrepreneurial course for young deaf people to encourage them to set up uh, businesses themselves but you've got to have you know that confidence, you've got to have the skills, you've got to have obviously some money and so on but Alan is, uh, as I say, the chair of this, but perhaps you might just say a few words. One minute. 